Roger, 133.87. Hi, Dick Rockford here. Seven, yeah, this is the uh, Piper M500, which is uh, an upgraded Meridian. It's uh, It's got uh, a new avionics suite, which includes a, a level button and uh, some other cool features and a later version of the G1000 software. Uh, but today I want to talk about uh, icing and how to deal with it. Uh, first of all, uh, it's probably important to understand that you need some rules about ice. And uh, I'm going to be talking about what I call the, my standard operating procedures. It's uh, it's important that you have a set of rules beyond your personal minimums and beyond what the FAA considers safe. And for icing, I highly recommend you consider the current icing potential when you get into imagery and then uh, uh, open that up. You're going to have some products on the, on the left side. Consider scrolling straight down to the icing group and then go straight to icing severity analysis. Uh, it, it's a better synopsis and uh, once you start exploring it, you'll understand why. Uh, now, I was on the uh, uh, forecast and we're airborne, so nothing else is downloading. So, I'm going to show you what... Uh, American no, 2305, no, contact uh, 4 4.02. The, uh, okay, so you're going to have to do this on your own, but if you tap on the icon that says maximum icing, it will fill the screen, and then you can page across and get individual altitudes. The trick to this is uh, to have rules, and my rule with respect to ice is that I will never intentionally encounter anything more than trace or light ice, and it's a bit conservative. On a day like today, uh, it's going to keep us out of trouble. Uh, now, we started this trip uh, at continuous uh, chop here in the tops. Jacksonville, Mississippi. Uh, we stopped there for fuel. We actually started the trip uh, in Florida and came up through uh, uh, Jacksonville. By the or Jackson, rather, sorry. Uh, by the time we got to Jackson, uh, we uh, we had to slide under this uh, large blue finger over the uh, southeastern U.S. And we did that by staying below the altitude that produced more than uh, trace to light. And that turned out to be uh, one two thousand. Contact four center one three four. One three thousand was populated with uh, uh, moderate ice, so we stayed below that. Uh, we got in for fuel and then uh, uh, managed our way with radar and Nexrad at uh, one one thousand one two thousand correction until we were clear of the backside of the moisture and then climbed. That's a new forward uh, Encountering only. Uh, Trace rhyme, and uh, we did so by getting a pi rep, asking for and receiving a pi rep for our area. So it's really important that you not deviate from the CIP FIP, the current icing potential forecast, icing potential, unless you have um, something better. And the only thing I know that's better is, of course, a, a pi rep in your area. Now then. Uh, here we are, um, climbed and saved our day with uh, preserving the fuel uh, for the destination. And uh, most of the weather is still, as you can see, off to our left. And uh, we're working our way into this pocket of relatively clear air in front of us. And uh, that's corroborated on the next rat. Uh, we used the radar, Nexrad, vigorously uh, on this uh, transition. Well, this is Dick Rochford. Fly safely. Train often.